for grandma's party. And Alia, come here. And Yvette went to the bathroom. I was in the kitchen. Alia, that was where she in was. Room. Oh, she was in grandma's room. And <laughs> Analia opened and is eating her first lollipop. Right, Analia? Oh, my goodness. Is it good? Is that good? She doesn't want me to see her. Because you know you're not supposed to have that. Oh, Lila! Right, hey, give me this! Tell me right, that money! That's your last lollipop Lollipop. for the year. Okay? <laughs> for the year? Oh, yeah. <laughs> These ones burned. You can see the ombre effect from brown <laughs> to black. But these are the other cookies uh, that I made for my grandma. I was attempting, my mom got a really good deal on these um, name tag cookies or gift bag cookie cutter thingy majiggies um, but I suppose they're more for like a sugar cookie since this dough is a little more cakey but she got a set of five of these for a dollar at the fall festival this year yeah I think it was this year um, and now I'm gonna make uh, some German chocolate, and I'm gonna use this uh, cheerful chocolate frosting mix. It has zero trends. And I got it on clearance for a dollar fifty. So we're gonna try this out with the German chocolate cake mix. So now I am going to tackle dishes. I already took out the trash it was hanging there. Uh, I already put all the clean dishes away, and I've already started washing some of them. And it is twelve thirty-one. Um, and I, okay, it is 12.50, and I'm almost done with the dishes. I just need the pan from breakfast this morning. I already put half of these away. I just need these bowls and cups up here. Wipe off the counter. Let's go check what the girls are doing. Hi, Mama. You're trying to reach the light. Yes. You're too close to the edge. You're going to give me a heart attack. Here's our tree. Nothing too fancy, but my husband wanted purple lights. So I went to the dollar store. I got some uh, purple and blue and green ornaments. I got a Christmas gift. And Yvette, we're already at my grandma's. Yvette is going to be the Virgin Mary. So I got some um, decent clothes for her because she's still wearing the... Um, her school clothes, uh, no. today, and I got these uh, boots the at day. the Goodwill or the today some uh, thrift day. shop for like three dollars. The cookies and the cake that I made, it survived the trip. And I think the frosting came out really good. We are Catholic, we're gonna have a posada, um, and then after that, we have another one at my church that my mom is actually. Um, her organization for the church is sponsoring that one. So we're gonna go to two today. So here's our buffet. Here's your plate. Say thank you, Grandma, for making sandwiches. Uh -huh. Okay. about 4 30 5 o'clock and uh, like always my mom texted me telling me a few other things that we're missing so on H-E-B shopping last minute these patches anyways um, I just wanted to update y'all while we drive to the church. I have restarted C25K. I'm super excited. I went jogging on Monday, but with the busy week, everything that I had to get done and everything, 
I haven't jogged since. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll probably um, have the girls stay asleep, tell them to go back to sleep, and I can go for a jog in the morning. Um, eating in the eating area. Oh, and the girls, my my, my cousin, she's Yvette's age, so they're in the back making lots of noise. Are you still on the phone? Lower your voice. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay. I, I the thing I'm trying to focus on right now is portion control, which yeah, it's it's going better than I haven't been eating as much greens as I'd like to, so I might you know increase that a little bit. I bought a whole pack of romaine lettuce um, hearts so I, and I, I like those because they're a little bit more crunchy we we're driving up to the church to get everything ready for the posada uh, and my husband's trying to activate my new phone yay um, and yeah so this is the last thing that um, it's been a super long day. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Yvette is going to be the Virgin Mary tonight, so I'll silently record um, later this evening when we during the posada. Smell them. Smell the flowers. <laughs> She's scared. I keep wanting to come take pictures. They have um, a statue surrounded with roses, and they were so beautiful um, a few weeks ago. See, now they're kind of over bloomed, I guess you can say. Oh, and I want to put Analia down to take some pictures, but she doesn't have. Well, she has socks, but I doubt she will stay sitting down. And there's like weeds and stuff here. Let's see. And Analia's wearing her red dress. Let's see. Will you stay there? Say cheese. Uh oh. <laughs> say they cheese. come here, Daddy. Oh, so I was on my knee. I got I did get some good pictures. And we were praying the rosary and I was on my knees the whole time and now they're kinda uh sensitive. So, I'm Daddy. sitting on the floor now, on the grass, because, yeah, she's standing in the, in the grass okay. She started over there near, near the roses, and I just called Yvette and uh, Eliada to come over here so I can take some more pictures, yay! Say yay! Ten, go! They're playing hide and go seek. Is that like against the law <laughs> or something on church on church grounds? Huh? Is it? Oh, they found them already. Yay! Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. There she goes. There's Daddy. 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 So she says, Daddy. She's walking, trying to run. She's 16 months. So I don't know if I. I told y'all. 16 months already. Oh, it's windy. Anyways, but I also wanted to talk about Eliada. She's not doing speech therapy again, but she's doing very good. She almost got all A's in school, Eliada. I think. She got one. So now we're inside and playing hide and seek. It's just started getting too windy. Anyways, but I was saying that Eliada isn't going to speech therapy right now, but the school actually has a program. Um, so we got to the process. Um, we'll need to take her to the ear, nose, and throat doctor. So, because since the insurance um, didn't approve her for another round or a continuation of the therapy, they just want to roll out um, any medical issue. But if it's way over there. Anyways, so that's pretty much it. Yvette. Well, I guess that's not it. Yvette is grounded because she's gotten C's all of this 
um, year semester. Um, so yeah, we really want her to pick up her grades. Uh, what's it say? Oh yeah, so we she doesn't want to go to tutoring. So we have her doing daily work um, in addition to her homework. Since we think her homework is way too easy. It's because they take uh, quizzes and tests daily that only have like four or five questions. So if she misses three or if she misses two, that's already, you know, a low grade. So the average... What? Well, look. Keep looking. Go all the way around. But her last report card was her best one. How do you like being grounded? A little. A little? She's already used to not looking at the TV. Um, she was like, Mommy, what are you next? So, you know, it's getting her used to doing more chores because before she was only doing anywhere from two to three chores every day. So now um, when she turns 10, we're going to be upping that a little bit. So, yeah. You bet, you bet, you bet, you bet. Here she goes. Is she next stroller? Anyways, I think it's almost 6 o'clock, so there are going to be people coming, so I gotta corral these girls together. Hey, there's Yvette and the angel and Joseph are about to start the posada. There, stop. Yeah? Yay! Let there be light. Pastorcita Virgen, Gloria de Belén, de un príncipe madre y también de un rey. So who doesn't know what Oposada is? Pretty much, it's just to commemorate the journey that Mary and Joseph took from Nazareth to Bethlehem as they were looking for a place to have the baby Jesus. Um, and we're denied entrance the first two times and then the third time, which is what you see here, we're welcomed in with open arms. Um, you can celebrate it by hitting the piñata. Uh, usually in the shape of a star, and that signifies the northern star that helped guide the three kings. Um, and then we pray a rosary, then we have some goodies for the kids, maybe a small meal. And that's pretty much it. We do it for nine days starting on December 16th. Um, you can have it in your home, um, in your neighborhood. Uh, my grandmother has it uh, on Christmas Eve, and then we attend Midnight Mass to celebrate the birth of Christ. So that's pretty much it. I hope you all liked watching this little short clip of the Posadas, and Merry Christmas!